Okay, so behind me right there is Tropicana Field, my 10th active Major League Baseball stadium, my 11th Major League Baseball stadium total that I will be attending. It's gonna be Orioles and Rays. The Orioles just lost their 10 game winning streak last night. Score of five to four. It's gonna be a fun one. Wander Franco bobblehead night. Uh, Wander Franco NFTs. We're going in, we're excited. And I can't wait. First Major League Baseball game all year. I'm looking forward to it. The Trop, finally crossing it off the list. See you guys in there. Here we go, Tropicana Field. I made the trip with my mom and my sister to see the Tampa Bay Rays take on the Baltimore Orioles. Fun fact, when I played t-ball, I was on the Tampa Bay Rays, so this is a pretty cool moment for me getting to this ballpark and being able to see them play in person. I made it in for Wander Franco bobblehead night, and I met Jorge Lopez pregame. There's him signing my hat. And that was really cool because in just a couple of days, he would go on to play in the All-Star game and then eventually get traded to the Minnesota Twins. Uh, so a fun little storyline there, but Jorge Lopez got to meet him. Very cool. Here's Adley Rutschman taking hacks in batting practice. Um, he's going to end it, and you'll see, on a moonshot to right field. Maybe that's foreshadowing something for later on in this game. Maybe it isn't, but look at that. This kid is going to be great with Baltimore. Can't wait to watch him play in a full season this year. Dean Kramer, there he is, the starting pitcher for the Orioles for this evening's ball game. Getting ready. I also got to meet Joey Crybuel, and so did my sister. He's a reliever. We actually have to see him pitch. That was really cool. Wander Franco had to recreate the pitch picture there and here are the Baltimore Orioles getting ready for the game I was sitting out in left field I mean look at this view it's very nice it's a turf field you could not get access to the third section the uppermost section at the stadium they did not sell tickets there but I did get to see Randy Arozarena up close as well as Anthony Santander what ended up being a very good ball game. Brandon Lau was coming off of the IL stint that he had, and he ended up having a pretty good game for the Rays. He went two for four, also had a walk and three runs scored. That was big. The Orioles would go ahead and beat the Tampa Bay Rays, so Lau's efforts were not going to be enough, but still a big game back for him in the lineup. This was July 16th, 2022. And as mentioned in the intro, right after the Orioles lost their win streak, I mean, look at this view. It was very nice. Yes, the catwalk is there, but I had no issue with it. I did think that this ballpark gets talked down a little too much. I mean, look at this. You got a raised touch tank. You can interact with Rays there in the tank. It was very cool. My sister absolutely loved hanging out in this area. And while we were there, a home run for the Tampa Bay Rays. The lights on the catwalk were flashing as Randy Arozarena hit a solo shot off Baltimore's Dean Kramer. Kramer ended up going only four innings, surrendering three earned runs after eight hits, but striking out two, Randy's home run was the only one he allowed in the ballgame. We found the Mickey Mouse statue and the 2020 AL Champions banner for Tampa Bay before returning to our seats and after the Rays touch tank. We did get to walk the ballpark, which is very nice. I do like to try to do that at every stadium especially when it's not close to home and it's somewhere I know I'm not going to get back to very often and look at this the lights on the catwalk it was very nice it took away from the crazy sound of the thunder crashing outside it was raining like there was no tomorrow luckily when the game was over and we were walking back to the hotel it was dry then look at this security guard dancing on the field I loved the energy hopefully this was going to spark a Tampa Bay Rays rally it did not quite do that. The game would go into extras, but it was still a very fun game. This was a very great dance. Entertaining, lots of fun to watch. Give it up for that guy. Ryan Yarbrough got the ball for the Rays. He gave up five hits over the course of five and a third with two earned runs and four strikeouts. Adley Rutschman goes yard off of Adam, who got his first blown save of the season. Rutschman, again, that's just going to be such a fun guy to watch throughout the course of his career. Young, switch hitting catcher for the Orioles. It was cool to see him go yard in person. That was a crucial point for the Orioles in the ball game. Here, warming up in the ballpen is Jorge Lopez, who I got the pleasure to meet pregame. And just like that, we are getting ready to close this one out. Jorge Lopez would get the win registering two innings pitched. He did allow one run, but struck out three Tampa Bay Rays batters. The save, guess who that went to? Joey Crabiel, 
who got to meet me and my sister pregame. So a very cool moment. I got to meet Jorge Lopez. He got the win. Crabiel registered the save. It was an all-around fun time. Great win for the Orioles. They ended up surprising a lot of people in 2022. Me being one of them, they finished above expectations. 2023 is going to be a fun year for them as well. All right, so the game is over after 11 innings. We got free baseball. The Orioles win it 6-4 to four the Trop out of my view now. 6-4, to four, Orioles win. This could be the start of a new win streak for Baltimore. And they're hot. They're above 500. They've got a spot potentially in the wild card race. Rays lose it 6-4 to four in extras. Big game. Fun game. I met Jorge Lopez. Set out in left field behind Randy Rosarena. It was great. The game is over. And that'll be the end of my day here in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay versus Baltimore. 10th active stadium, 11th total.